this is a response to Spoke 777's video where he has made a video called Response Seventh Day Adventist Double Talk Growing Beliefs. Now, I believe from the essence of his video, his, what he's saying is, is that your belief system can change as you learn more about it. Now, with that, I agree. Uh, I don't think you can get that from his video talking about chickens uh, being three months old. And would it be disingenuous to say that they were six months old or for lifting a certain pounds of weight? Would it be disingenuous to say that you lift 15 pounds one time and 30 pounds again? Uh, I really don't, I don't have any idea what you would do with all of that. But anyway, I do agree that belief systems can change. But here is the problem with your video, though. There's, it, it, it is impossible for me to respond to it because of this fact. You didn't list those beliefs, what you believed before and what you believed afterwards. So how can anyone give a response to your video? What you should have done was say, okay, our beliefs grow. This is what we believed at one time, but this is what we believe now. Then I would have had something concrete, something tangible that I could actually work with to either agree with or to refute. But you didn't, didn't do any, any of that. You just simply said that your beliefs can change or you can, uh, or you can get more light in on, on the beliefs and it can go from one thing to another. Uh, but you never did give any of these beliefs what you believed before and what you believed afterwards so anyone could actually verify what you're even talking about. And so, it's, it's, for instance, like I have a series of videos up on the historical development of the Trinity. And I have several other videos up about the deity of Jesus Christ. If someone wants to know what I believe about the historical development of uh, the Christian Trinity, they can go look at those videos and find out. If they want to know what I believe about the deity of Jesus Christ, they can go look at my video on the deity of Jesus and see what I have to say about it. And I put tangible things in there where I got it from, why I believe it, and interpreted the scriptures that I, that I gave in those videos. And if a person wants to challenge me, they can look at those videos and either agree with me or disagree with me. But at least they've got something tangible to work with if they want to disagree with me. You absolutely give nothing that anyone can work with. You don't list what you believed, what you believed before, or what you believed afterwards. And you keep mentioning this thing about citations, and this is a good, uh, po uh, good time to bring that in. For instance, uh, one of the beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist is that the date of Daniel's 490 years of prophecy began in 457 B.C. and ended in 34 B.C. Uh, now, let me show you what I'm talking about on these citations. There are so many different views on 457. Some say 445, some say 457, some say even up as, as late as uh, 500 and something A.D., some say 458. So there's absolutely no date certain for that. So, uh, now, the Seventh-day Adventists do give some uh, documentation for that, so you can't really say a lot about that. At least they give the documentation for that, and you can refute it. But then they drop, drop it down to and say that Jesus died in 31 uh, A.D. Now, listen to this very carefully, Spoke 7, seven You're talking about citations. Seventh-day Adventists give absolutely no documentation, no citation, nothing whatsoever to, to prove that Jesus died in 31 A.D. Nothing. And the death of Jesus ranges anywhere from 29 up to about 34 A.D. But yet, you, all they simply say is, well, it's 31 A.D. And give absolutely no documentation, no citation of any author or anything that shows that Jesus died in 31 A.D. How dishonest can you be? They just simply, well, he died in 31 A.D. With nothing to show, show about it. So they got three years left, so they go out to 34 A.D. and say, well, what happened here? Well, let's just say Stephen died here. So they say the 490 years ended in 34 A.D. with the death of Stephen. The death of Stephen ranges from about 30 A.D. up to about 36 A.D., depending on which author you read. There's no certain date about the death of Stephen. But the Seventh-day Adventists don't even give anything for it, nothing whatsoever. Go back and look in the Seventh-day Adventist writings. They just simply say Stephen died in 34 A.D. and give absolutely no documentation whatsoever that anyone can verify or see whether or not Stephen did die in 34 A.D. They don't cite anything, not nothing whatsoever. So you're talking about citations. Why doesn't the Seventh-day Adventist follow its own advice and the things it wants other people to do? Why don't they uh, give citations for those things? Uh, back to this other, though, when you're talking about the, the, uh, the belief system changing, when it goes from bad to worse, I don't say that's much of a change. For instance, like if you were talking, if you were talking about your beliefs being 
Uh, the, where Ellen White predicted the return of Jesus Christ in 1843, 1844, 1851, and 1856, and he didn't return. That's failed prophecy. So all of a sudden, well, let's just come up with something new then. So they changed their beliefs. And they went from, well, Jesus really didn't come back in those years, but he did, he did begin his atonement. Like he waited to 1844 to begin his atonement. Now that's just going from bad to worse. If that's the kind of growing belief you have, where it goes from Jesus not coming back until in 1844 to Jesus only beginning the day of atonement in 1844, or making atonement for sin in 1844, all you've done is gone from bad to worse. If that's the kind of belief change you get, you, you you're getting into, then again you're just going from bad to worse. Uh, so you actually need to give somebody something concrete to work with. Just simply saying our beliefs change without saying, okay, this is what we believed before, and this is what we believed afterwards. That way I would have something tangible to look at to actually make a video response to. But you absolutely give nothing. And that, it to me, is being very disingenuous. So I see that you take very good care of your physical body, but I suggest you take care of your mind as well and begin studying something where you can actually give somebody something to work with. Until next time, this has been Golly saying God bless.